Hello everybody, uh, we're here in our backyard. We uh, just have a, a word of encouragement for you at this uh, time of, of change and adjustment. And uh, uh, I brought my best friend with me. <laughs> it's my wife, Diane. If you don't know her, she's uh, in the background usually. But uh, anyway, just wanted to talk about this idea of working from home, ministering from home, officing from home. Um, and it, it has struck me how we really are in good terms in terms of what God is doing. You know, a number of years ago, we, or I guess it's a number of months ago, God said, um, he does not dwell in houses built by human hands. And so we have taken the step further and further away from kind of traditional church building and so forth. And, and lately we've taken a step away from kind of traditional office kind of space. And <clears throat> while that feels like a loss in many ways, um, because we're used to that, still it has struck me how biblical that really is. I, I see how, for instance, Jesus, when uh, in John 4, when he meets with the woman by the well, he says this, believe me, dear woman, the time is coming when it will no longer... Um, when it will no longer matter whether you worship the Father on this mountain or in Jerusalem. He's talking about, uh, she's thinking it's in a place. You have to worship God from this place. And he's saying, uh, it, that's not true. The time is coming. Indeed, it is here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. For God is spirit. So those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. And it strikes me that we have this relationship with this unseen God. Someday we will see him face to face. We'll even get to embrace him when we reach eternity with him. But until then, in a sense, we have a virtual relationship with him. We can't see him. We can't touch him. Yet he is so close. He's near us. He's with us. He's even inside of us. And so there's this relationship, this intimacy that we have with God that we that's not physical and and you even look at Paul the way that he ministered to people all over that region many people he wrote letters to he never met and in many ways <laughs> he was in social distancing uh, whether that be in prison or in uh, home confinement and he writes this uh, to people he hasn't even met Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make requests for all of you with joy, for you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from this time, uh, from the time you first heard until now. I am certain that God who began this good work in you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So that it is right that I feel as I do about all of you, for you have a special place in my heart. You share with me the special favor of God, both in my imprisonment and in defending and confirming the truth of the good news. This is out of Philippians 1. You see how Paul is saying, we are in this together. We're ministering to the gospel of Jesus Christ together. And I, I'd like to just um, maybe say, for those of us who feel lonesome or lonely or lost in in not having all these gatherings maybe there's a way of of turning that and using it in this kind of thing in terms of 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 working for the truth you all are ministers of the gospel of jesus christ so what if having that desire you energize it by calling somebody up setting up a Zoom meeting, a Facebook meeting, a messenger meeting, whatever uh, version you use, FaceTime, and, and, and you have some encouragement time. We have seen this, how brothers and sisters have come together. Um, not something that we've always organized. Many times it isn't. And they've just gotten together over media and read scripture together, prayed together, encouraged each other together. We've seen this in multiple ways, even in our setting. We've seen We've actually seen how uh, ministry has blossomed and expanded. We've had five baptisms through Zoom lately 
It's just fantastic to see that. Mm -hmm. We've had a number of communion sessions where over a hundred people received the body and blood of Christ all over the country through Zoom. And people have encouraged, we see these faces of people that we haven't seen in a long time or maybe never seen, and we're encouraged by that. Uh, we've had prayer sessions where we've had concerts of prayer where we, we're all praying out loud together and it's just this mishmash, this beautiful sound of prayer together. We've had meetings, uh, I've had counseling sessions, I've had premarital counseling sessions, Bible studies, we worship regularly, we get uh, prayer requests, sometimes emergency prayer requests over email, over text. And I, I want to encourage you that when you feel frustrated, when you feel that desire to be with people, maybe God is speaking into you to use that to reach out to us. Certainly, please, please reach out to us, um, those of us who are uh, considered the wake staff. Uh, and also consider reaching out to the people who you know who might need to be encouraged as well. Diane, you may not see her face very often, but she is very involved. One of the things that we have experienced is a new partnership in ministry. Uh, it used to be I would do my thing, she would do her thing, it's my job, it's her job. Uh, we do different things, but now through this, we are more in partnership in ministry. Um, so what are the kinds of things that you do? Yeah, um, some of it's background. Um, I run the camera and um, set up the PowerPoint and run that during worship. Um, but I think the bigger part has been just the interactions with uh, both those in our home group. We uh, used to meet in our living room. Now we, now we just connect um, online after worship and uh, just being able to uh, build each other up and uh, and beyond that then just uh, the interactions with other people as well um, encouraging and and uh, helping them along in their faith and they do the same for us and so we regularly throughout the day have things that come up that we just pray about and there are needs that come up and we just right in the spot, we just pray for that person or pray for that need. And so um, I wanna encourage you to press into the Lord and see, <clears throat> to look into what creative way he might have you step out further. Uh, there might be, I'm certain, <laughs> there are gonna be new ways that we're gonna minister in the future, creative ways, things that we haven't even thought about. But you see this, this guidance that the Lord takes uh, we know what the enemy intended for evil, God works for good. So even though we're on this kind of semi-lockdown, the social distancing thing, um, because of this pandemic, still watch and wait and step into what God is doing right now mm -hmm. and embrace the ministry that the Lord has given you. Can, I encourage you, can we encourage you to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'm waiting for an amen. <laughs> amen. Uh, well, the Lord bless you. We love you and look forward to seeing uh, and being in touch with you in lots of different ways. Bye-bye. <laughs>